Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to add your server icon and also get a uh, MOTD set up on your server. And I know probably 90% of you watching already know how to do this, but this is just for those people who are just started and uh, have been asking recently how to do this. So this video is for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it we need to get our specific uh, icon that we're going to be using. And this is actually a nice simplistic logo made by someone on my community Discord. So if you want to uh, come to my Discord, it'll be linked down in the description. Uh, there is uh, services that you can buy, and this is actually made by Gold or Polar. He does very simplistic, uh, nice design, so I actually uh, asked him to make this for this video. So thanks and shout out to him. Uh, so once you have your specific icon, there's two requirements that it needs to be. The first one, it has to be a PNG file. The second one is going to be a 64 by 64 pixels. Uh, it cannot be larger than that or it will not work. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this file and then we can go to our Minecraft uh, hosting. Just go ahead and upload whatever server icon and then this is also very important. You need to rename this and we're going to call this server-icon.png and rename and then now we can restart our server. Let me switch back over to our Minecraft here, and there is our server, guys. That looks pretty cool. I actually really like that logo, so really nice job on him. And we can go ahead and join, and this is our server to join. And there we go, we just joined the game. And next, I want to show you guys how to add your server MOTD as well. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. So typically the best way to change your MLTD is going to be with some sort of MLTD plugin. I'm going to be using Serverless Plus for this example, just because editing the normal default Minecraft MLTD is a bit tedious, and every time you want to change it, you actually have to restart your server. But with plugins, you can just reload the plugin and it will actually update. So with uh, Serverless Plus, uh, you have to enable it first, so we can do SLP, enable and i will go ahead and enable all the configurations now we can go to our plugins folder and then we can go into serverless plus config uh, so we're going to be going into this uh, default yml right here so we can scroll down here and uh, this is where you can change all the statuses and there's actually quite a bit of uh, cool things that you can do with this plugin uh, but i'm going to head and just use the default one so i'm going to head and delete that section and here is the default status so this is a minecraft server now with you know pvp mini games etc so this is the first line and this would be the second line and then this section right here these little uh, dashes this represents another completely different MOTD. so you can pretty much just cycle between one to two to three uh, so if you want to add another one let's go ahead and do that actually so we'll do this this one backspace all the way and go ahead and add it actually there we go now it's all even so make sure it is all even when you do this so we can say uh, you know first uh, MOTD and then you can customize it all with color codes which is really nice uh, so if you want to uh, use spaces here's a little trick so just go ahead and do a color code right next to each other without anything there and this will represent this will kind of space out the MOTD so nice little trick there if you want to have it center uh, and then we can do you know um, center MOTD <laughs> like so and then that's pretty much it here can be the second line so so we can change the color codes to B and then we'll do a second MOTD and then we can do this one for pink and we can say pink uh, MOTD and just like so and that pretty much it. So let's go ahead and save that and then what's really nice about this is you can just do a SLP reload now we'll go ahead and reload your configurations and make sure there is no errors which we don't have any which is fantastic so we can go switch to our Minecraft and here we go we got the second MOTD the first time and here's the pink one and then uh, second one again and there's the first one so every time it does uh, ping or a player pings it can actually swap the MOTDs and this is random so kind of cool because you can give your server a more uh, active lively feel uh, which is pretty nice so that is how you add MOTDs as well as server icons and that is the way I do recommend it so let me know if you have any questions down below I'll see you guys in the next video peace out 